Missouri lawmakers are trying to get a better understanding of how the Department of Social Services investigates boarding schools like the Circle of Hope Girls Ranch in southwest Missouri. Our Missouri Chief Capital Bureau reporter Emily Manley has the latest on a two-hour hearing today. She has our report tonight. Two weeks ago, Attorney General Eric Schmidt announced that the couple who owned and operated the Circle of Hope Girls Ranch in southwest Missouri were charged with more than 100 felonies after 16 victims came forward. Now lawmakers are wondering what needs to be done to prevent another abuse case at a boarding school. That's what's concerning and a little scary. And, and I can see how we've gotten here with now hundreds of kids um, abused. Currently in Missouri, reform schools are not required to be licensed. There are basically provisions around what facilities are licensed facilities and there are exemptions in statute. Um, Circle of Hope is one of those exemptions. House members requested the Department of Social Services testify at a committee Wednesday to explain the difference between licensed and unlicensed facilities. You know, if it's a licensed residential facility and a contracted facility, there are requirements that that we can walk into that facility and, you know, have eyes on the kids, be able to walk through the facility. Unlicensed or a licensed exempt facility, we don't have that ability to have a spontaneous uh, interaction or, or, or to be able to talk with the child. Representatives stress their frustration. And even if the statutory exemption limited the department's ability to act, it's uh, it's puzzling to why the department never came to the legislature and asked for help in changing the law. If we have to change that statute. Dear goodness, we need to do so because I think that would give us even a bigger picture of what's gone on in the past. The attorney general's office is currently investigating Agape Boarding School in Circle of Hope Girls Ranch. 71-year-old Boyd and 55-year-old Stephanie Householder were the owners of the ranch in Cedar County and faced charges of abuse and neglect of a child, rape, sodomy, and endangering the welfare of a child. When we go into an unlicensed facility, even though there's requirements around eyes on the child, Sometimes it's very difficult for that provider or the provider will not present that child in a timely manner. Now the House gave initial approval to a bill Tuesday that would require the state to perform background checks and regulate those unlicensed facilities. No one opposed that legislation. Reporting for our Missouri Capitol Bureau, I'm Emily Manley.